Can I call to order the Muskegon County Public Works Board meeting for May 5th, 2022? May I have a roll, roll call, please? Commissioner Brown. Here. Commissioner Sear. Here. Leo Evans. Here. Jennifer Hodges. Uh, excused. Commissioner Hughes. Here. Commissioner Laring. Here. Water Resources Commissioner Moore. She must be excused. She sent us a letter. Commissioner Nash. Here. Chair Pego. Present. Commissioner Spolnick. Here. And Commissioner Wilkins. Okay. Here. Here. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion for an approval of the agenda. So moved. Support. The motion and support from Commissioner Hughes and Commissioner Wilkins. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. I'll entertain an approval of minutes for the Board of Public Works meeting of April 7th, 2022. So support. A motion support from Commissioner Nash and Commissioner Hughes. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? No. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And that motion passes. Um, is there any public comment on an agenda item? Any public comment on any agenda item? I don't see any. Okay, one more time, any public comment? And then I'm going to close public comment and move on to items for consideration. Our BPW 22 05 42 Public Works Map Fair asking to move toward the procurement of 10 lanes for the litter screen and 1,000 feet of fencing to Meta Technologies, Inc. for the quoted price net to exceed $102,295. So moved. Support. I have a motion support from Commissioner Nash and Commissioner Hughes. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? I'd just like to say we really do need it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. <laughs> okay. Um, I will ask for a roll call vote. Commissioner Brown? Yes. Commissioner Sear? Yes. Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Larry? Yes. Commissioner Nash? Yes. Chair, oh, I'm sorry. Commissioner Skolnick? Yes. Commissioner Wilkins? Yes. And Chair Pegel? Yes. And that motion passes. Moving on to BPW 22 05 43, Resource Recovery Center, David Johnson, asking to move to award the bids for RFB 22 2458, filled alfalfa as follows. Mm -hmm. Field nine at $43.26 per ton. Field 11 at $43.26 per ton. Field 28 at $43.93 per ton. Field 32 at $44.16 per ton. And field 36 at $44.16 per ton to Applegate Dairy LLC. And field 15 at $44.25 per ton. Field 15A at $44.25 per ton. And field 24 at $44.25 to Brian Rice Ball Dairy LLC. So moved. Support. We have a motion to support from Commissioner Hughes and Commissioner Nash. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? I have a question. Commissioner Stolman? No, I'd like, I think Mr. Larry, I think last year mentioned mm -hmm. something about. Maybe some of the bidders for this were working together. I was just curious if there were any piece of that in this room. Dave Johnson, can you address that question? Dave Johnson, Resource Recovery Center. Can you please repeat the question? Well, what I, what I was wondering last year, it seemed like there, were, there was some um, conversation about bidders working together, people who were going to buy this material. And I was, and I see there are only two bidders for it. I was just wondering if you have any thoughts that they might be working in conjunction with each other or anything. That's a very good question. Last year, when we went out for bids, we put we put a statement in the RFB uh, expressly forbidding that. So that statement was in this one as oh, well. Okay. So I don't think they are doing that. We do have fewer bidders, and there are reasons for that. One mm -hmm. of them, uh, Shane North, they 
were able to secure a lot of places in Allegan County where they're based that they can get hay now. So they didn't feel like they needed to bid. And then another one uh, was behind in his payments. So we just had the two. Okay, and how do these, you know, I, excuse my, I don't remember if it was in there or not. How does that compare to last year's prices? I'm just curious if inflation in fact, uh, affected. They, they are up slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. Okay. Commissioner Sear. Um, I'm just curious, uh, at the end of the year, and I, I don't know, just a, a wild guess on your part, I guess, uh, what are the uh, revenues from all the ag sales? Hey, can I can I get back with you on that one? I'm not prepared to, to write off that number, but it's a, okay. a number I can get you from what we did last year. Yeah, I'm just curious. It's not, not critical. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Okay, I will ask for the public, please. Commissioner Skolnick? Yes. Commissioner Wilkins? Yes. Commissioner Brown? Yes. Commissioner Sear? Yes. Commissioner Hughes? Yes. Commissioner Larry? Yes. Commissioner Nash? Yes. And Chair Peggle? Yes. And that motion passes. Moving on to BPW 22-05-44, Resource Recovery Center, David Johnson, asking to move to award the quote for RFQ 22-013, ARC slash audit to DL Steiner, Inc. for $123,558 and to amend the Resource Recovery Center fiscal year 2022 budget accordingly. So moved. Or a motion from Commissioner Hughes and Commissioner Wilkins. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? I do have a question. Commissioner yeah. Hughes. DJ, um, on that, it says um, amend the budget accordingly. Did Is this going to make the budget go up or down? This would make the budget go up. Okay. And is there a reason for that? Yes, there is a reason for that. The reason is when we budgeted for this, we budgeted what we thought it would be, but we hadn't yet thought of doing, including the irrigation rigs and all that okay. in this. And it was added as an afterthought okay. to the RFB, but by that time sure. the budget had already been set. Okay. So, you know, if we had thought of it, we would have budgeted yep. for it. We do have um, money in our reserve funds to cover it. Okay, I just wondered why that was. Any other questions? Uh, Commissioner Sear. Um, so the irrigation rigs then apparently have power panels or something that that associated correct. with them also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Okay, I'll ask for a roll call vote, please. Commissioner Nash. Yes. Commissioner Skolnick. Yes. Commissioner Wilkins. Yes. Commissioner Brown. Yes. Commissioner Sear. Yes. Commissioner Hughes. Yes. Commissioner Larry. Yes. And Chair Peckel. Yes, and that motion passes. You have some informational items in your packet, uh, Public Works Monthly Report, Resource Recovery Center Monthly Report, and Muskegon County Road Commission letter. Um, you can read those at your leisure. Is there any unfinished business? Oh, Commissioner. There was a, there was a question. Um, I'm just curious about the landfill litter screens. I know we already voted on it. I'm just curious. DJ, could you tell me why those are so expensive? I, I'm going to let Matt. I think that's Matt. That. That's his department. We bought a lot of them, and we have a lot of area to cover. And these things have to be very robust because they're you know, moved by very large machines. So, what are they? It says a thousand. You bought ten litter screens and a thousand feet of fencing. Yes. So, what are litter screens? Are they just big fences? Yeah, they're the, the litter screens are big. You know, they're huge screens, right from me to the wall. And, 12, 14 feet tall, and then the, the litter fence is more permanent. Okay. Because we have to put those downwind every day. Every day they have to be moved, depending on which way the oh. wind is blowing. Because we don't want to blow them into the lagoon. We don't want to blow them in, you know, we want the litter. We're required to keep the litter on on the on the working phase. So are those similar to the fences they use in Coopersville? Like I can see those when I drive by you. Know? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Any so other I, so questions? Like, oh, I, I don't know. Just that. Any other questions, comments? I do have a question. question. Uh, uh, this is probably from Matt. On the road commission letter. Yes. Um, I 
I, they kind of pussyfooted around in their mm -hmm. letter, mm -hmm. and I wasn't exactly <laughs> sure what what their actual decision was. The, the road commission voted to deny our request, the board of public works request, to take on those roads as public. That's administration. kind of what I figured. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We did. They've done the same thing with Muskegon Township on several occasions. So just. I'll, Please. I'll work on it. Well, just so people know, um, we are going to have a meeting of the association owners at Business Park North coming up, you know, to look at what we do next. They're probably going to want to close off the road so we don't get heavy trucks coming from you know, the other way. Um, and just, I know this is probably not published related, but we're going to be probably down to one lot uh, by a week's end. So um, and I might suggest that um, Muskegon Township just went through the same thing on that road there by the pizza place that is so bad. Mm -hmm. And they're the bank and the pizza place and somebody else are gonna work together with the township and they're gonna all go together and pave it. So that might be an option. And they they had to come up with a wording of how to make that a partnership to do that. So if that will help at all. Yeah, yeah, and thank you for that. You know, clearly in, in the in the master deed, the association is covered, its responsibilities are covered. Okay. So we'll get together and Perfect. talk. I think it's in July when we're meeting and okay. talk about the common okay. areas. And I just noticed and kind of thought that might be along the same line as what we've done there. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Yeah. Commissioner Larry? DJ, I'm wondering if, if you can speak to the issue of the hay sales. You said that one of the bidders was behind on payments. You obviously didn't let him bid again. What is going on with his old, old contracts? His old contracts, uh, the other groups that usually bid were made aware that that these are contracts that if they will meet the price, they can take those over. Otherwise, they will be plowed up and, and replanted in something else. And those have all been now accounted for by Apple Gage or Risable Dairy. Which means what they're going to take them at the same price that that built that uh, Beaver Creek Farms. Okay. Did. And what is the longest one of those? Con I mean, how far out are those contracts? Well, Beaver Creek Farms has bid pretty much every year, so you know there'll be some that are three, some that are two, and some that are one. Okay. All right. Uh, can I follow up on it? Are they making an attempt to pay? Not yet, no. But they, you've talked to them and they know they're behind for it. Uh, they, they have been emailed multiple times in the call. And uh, there's nothing wrong. Uh, his farm, mm -hmm. farm has been purchased actually mm -hmm. by Applegate Dairy, which you might know better as Dindle Dairy. Yeah, Dindle. It's now Applegate. So the farm has been purchased. They're going to reduce the number of cows to the appropriate size and keep using it as a dairy. And then will they assume the responsibilities of the debt? That, I don't think so, though. No. So you're saying we're ahead. just out that money? Well, he's in receivership right now. He's not, he's not in any form of bankruptcy yet. And uh, Mr. Homier might uh, be able to discuss the fine points of of what can be done in this situation how much money is it i guess i, I... it's about six hundred thousand okay. dollars roughly That's a, that, that changes things around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Commissioner Nash. so do we have a way to find out whether that debt was purchased as part of the purchase with the funds uh, i've talked to the the owner of applegate dairy and he says it wasn't I'm sure he does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he does too. Can we get a copy of that purchase agreement so that our corporate council can look at it? So we have um, we have issues that we're going to have to deal with as well because okay. I think that uh, my partner Jim Guzma may represent Apple Gate. Oh. So, um, but. I don't know the extent of it because I haven't talked to him about it. What I do know is that in the receivership, um, there's nothing to file yet. When okay. if there is a bankruptcy, then you would file a claim. Right. 
So right now, I don't think there's anything to file yet. Um, you could probably, you could probably uh, commence an action for the amount due, but it's going to fall, you know, in line. It's an right. unsecured debt, so you know. Right, and it goes over to Ethan Hayes. Correct. Yes. Um, okay. Commissioner So, so that means there was no lien on. on is that correct? I don't know what can a lien be filed on like health outfit? Yeah, I don't know the answer to that. I mean, I haven't, I know um, DJ has sent me the contracts, but I have not yet had an opportunity to review it. So you're planning on it? Yeah, I mean, to the extent that my understanding is that there were multiple contracts. I'm not sure if we have them all over the years or just a sample one. Just a sample one. Yeah. But, but as, as far as I know, it still was an unsecured right. debt. Yeah, I, I just want to comment, having been in business for many years and then had debts like this, we never collected them. Sometimes we had to pay back any money they paid if they went bankrupt. Mm. We had to pay back. I remember one in particular, they, they owed us about $60,000 and mm -hmm. paid 10 and filed. I think they went, I know they went bankrupt in the court. Ed. We had to pay back $10,000 in case. Mm -hmm. Any other? Thing as possible. I, I do have one other Commissioner question. Commissioner Hughes, DJ, are they the only ones we have in arrears right now? Uh, there, there is another one that is in arrears, but uh, her debt is very small. Okay. She, she has been actively working it okay at the, he has a great relationship Perfect. with christine Perfect. and uh, making great effort we actually thought she was going to bid and uh, she did not okay um i'm going to move on that kind of was unfinished business but i didn't formally call it is there any other unfinished business okay well, yes well, commissioner nash one more when we talked about the road commission they made an offer for the chip seal are we taking advantage of that I'm going to meet with the, the associations if they want to do with that. You said that was in July, you think? You mean yes. Okay. Tina, so we'll probably know in the August meeting. Yes. Okay, thank you. Any other informational item questions or unfinished business? Okay, any new business come before the board? Any new business? No new business. Okay. Any public comment? No public comment. Any final board comments? No final board comments. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're adjourned with only 18 minutes. So. Yeah, 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 bravo. You couldn't get.